Hey, Dr. Vaughn here. I did a poll on my Facebook fan page the other day. The question is true or false? You should not have the sleeve if you have GERD, reflux, or heartburn. Um, of 673 votes, 55% said false and 45% said true. So, true or false, you should not have the sleeve if you have GERD. This is false. The reason why it's false is because there's a lot more that causes um, reflux than just one particular surgery, than just the sleeve. Yes, the incidence of heartburn is higher in the sleeve uh, than compared to the gastric bypass, but oftentimes that's due to poor food choices and um, techniques in the eating by the patient, so it's patient habit. Um, a lot of that can be remedied if you fix the patient's eating habits. For example, um, stopping alcohol, uh, stopping coffee, stopping sodas, uh, increasing your, your water intake, um, drinking uh, Kangen water, like alkal alkalinized water, eating slower, eating less. These are all things that will help alleviate heartburn after sleep. And you should really try this first uh, before considering a revision to like a bypass or anything like that. Now, uh, also know that it's possible, and a lot of patients have heartburn after gastric bypass. So um, the um, so the the revision to a bypass is not necessarily a cure for any sort of heartburn. Uh, last thing I will say is a lot of surgeons are now worried that. Um, uh, having a gastric sleeve can lead to something called Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous condition that could lead to esophageal cancer. Uh, the take on this really is that Barrett's esophagus doesn't mean anything unless you have what's called dysplasia or that the cells change, which is a very rare uh, incident. And then the chances of that dysplasia changing into cancer is even rarer. So you're really having a multiplication of a rare event times a rare event, which results in a pretty rare event. And in addition to that, there are new technologies now that um, where uh, doctors can take care of your Barrett's esophagus in, uh, endoscopically by burning it or, tr or treating it, um, the dysplasia cells, so that you don't have to have uh, actual esophagectomy or your esophagus removed, which is what you used to have to do. Anyway, that's a long roundabout way of answering the true or false question. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope to see you in Vegas, uh, February uh, 21st to the 23rd for Velocity 2020. You can check that out, learn more information, velocity2020.com. See you next time. Bye.